So it's been a couple of days since I worked on on El Yonke. <laughs> nah, but um, we're supposed to do the, the front control arm, but they're not going to be here in time. So what he decided to do is just replace everything we need to replace just so it gets him by because it is his daily and uh, and he really needs the truck. So I told him, okay, yeah, buy all the parts. We'll put it together. And yesterday I forgot to vlog, but he was here with me while I was trying to knock it out. Pero nomás we were able to do one side. And then uh, I guess he told me about uh, flipping the lower control arm. Well, not flipping, but flipping the lower ball joint upside down. So like that, it's like a poor man's uh, extensive kit. So, si se correcte el, el camber. So, whenever you do this particular, I do not recommend this because there is going to be a lot of stress on that lower ball joint because it is backwards. But it does work like a like a temporary kit. So, the tires are not all the way crooked like you guys saw in the previous video. But let me show you guys. But like I said, I do not recommend you guys to do this. This is unsafe. But this is how he wanted it to get them by until the parts come by. So I told him, okay, let me show you guys. He's oh, up pinching mama whiskey. New upper control arm, new outer tie rod, new inner tie rod. And this is what I'm talking about. So this is supposed to be the other way. You can see there's a little space there. It is fully seated. It's just the boot needs to go all the way down. So on these particular trucks, you can replace the ball joints, but you just need to get rid of the rivets which is this. It is a pain in the ass to do it, but it can get done. Um, so we, you have to drill out the, the bottom spindle because the ball joint did go in here, but now, like I said, you have to drill it out and it does correct it. As you can see, it's pretty fucking straight, but you are putting a lot of stress on that ball joint. So this side is done. The wheel hub was shot because whenever you back these trucks this way your tire is hella cambered and you're putting so much stress on this bearing que se madrea so cuando se pone mucho espresso i think that's what it's called in spanish because i do have spanish viewers um cuando se baja la troca completa tumbada así se dobla la llanta y le pones mucho estrés en el en el valero so es si está jodido y lo va a reemplazar, por eso no acabamos este día uh, es ayer pero les voy a enseñar en el otro I'm going to show you guys on the other side how we managed to do this alright, so this is the first one, we're waiting to get the parts and then the second one is on this side I do not have it tearing apart but I'll show you guys in a bit as a matter of fact, you know what, here it is and yesterday they gave him some spindles, but they gave him two left spindles. <laughs> so, see, we hauled it out, as you can see. The ball joint is inside there, but yeah. Let me let me show you guys. And then the other thing that we found out is I've never seen two-inch lowering spindles like this. Uh, you're able to put all the nuts through the back. Usually when you have drop spindles, you have the two in the back. And the one in the front but like i said it's that brand that is pretty cool it's the first one that i see like this but yeah these are the drop spindles and, and these are the oem ones as you can see two inch height difference how you stand so i'll wait until he comes and then i'll show you guys how to tear this side down and do that modification but like i said i do not recommend that modification just buy the right parts do it right but like i said he does need it so fuck it this is going to be a temporary and then i'll pick you guys up in a little bit come on ben, how you can see the upper control arm goes there that one's shot see how it goes in the bottom and right now i'm going to show you how you flip it it's going to create the camber it's gonna make it straight but yes like i said it's not the right way to do it so right now let me take this apart and take the caliper take the line take the abs sensor take the inner tie rod take the outer right tie rod take the upper control arm and the lower ball joint let me show you that bit all right <clears throat> Ahí está. there you go to take these rivets off i'm gonna cut it in a little slice 
everywhere hit it with the chisel then smooth it drill it out a little bit and then puncture them down and then as you see this ball joints in the bottom original we're gonna flip this the opposite way but we also need to notch this little area so i'll show you guys in a little bit and yeah god damn look at them fucking things oh that's gonna hold <laughs> oh anyway, no this fucking truck is ah <sighs> it's one of a kind truly but let me get the grinder start cutting this out and then i'll show you guys right now how how i take it off after two hours you can hear it on my breath that last rivet didn't want to come off but i got it so see how it has that little step we're gonna put it backwards but with the new one let me show you we're gonna have to notch this right now and then i'll show you how we put it together and then those little tacks didn't even hold so i'm gonna have to weld this but yeah let me get the new one and notch that and i'll show you guys there you go see factory location just backwards and then put the new control arm and right now i'm gonna weld that and then i'm gonna assemble it and then hopefully this guy comes with the, with the spindles so we get this out of here i see i go bien hecho that ain't gonna go nowhere that's perfect let me put the spindle on right now Matter of fact, so I can show you the thing. There you go. Now, I'm going to drill it out a little bit more. Let me do that. In a bit, just right here. All right, oh, I see, perfect. Let me put the nut in the cutter pin, and I'll pick you guys up right now. This is the final product. Ahorita vamos a ver cómo quedó. Uh, but yeah, now we have positive camera. So we'll see right now and wear it out. Well, there you go. Let's see if it's going to create the camber temporarily. Okay, they won. It's not sewing, but it's in. Not as bad, but fuck it. I get off. She's a wrap. Yeah, it was it was a lot more in. Ahorita it's more out, but now the entire now the entire river to get you by. If you guys see me in a canal, you'll know that. <laughs> there she goes. She is a wrap right now, temporarily, until we get the control arms. But everything is working like it should. No Mickey Mouse welds. Everything is 100%. Ahorita que el owner se la lleve. Ah, bitch, go. Shoo! Wait up. Ahora sí, 100. Straight, you could tell. All right, so to the next one, new, new block coming here pretty soon. We're gonna put some coilovers on La Panda. So stay tuned and thanks for watching.